Hey guys, Kat here. Um, another exciting unboxing day. Uh, just received uh, another package from the nice poster service guy. He's been quite busy <laughs> delivering packages to this house. Um, so, um, let's get to it. All right, here is the Ami Ami box. And uh, let's get to it. It appears to be the same comic like the last two unboxings. Still a cute one. Can you imagine getting a life-size figure? <laughs> How expensive that is. All right. Ah. La 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 la. Oh my God. Yes, I've been waiting for this one. She is best girl. Yes. Fight me on it. Love her. Oh, we got DSR. Girls front line. She's looking schmexy. Love it. Can't wait to open her. All right. Let's get to. All right. So we will do no bra first. So this is a 1 8 scale. Kind of similar to the same box style as um, Gucci Guru. Um, which I think in my last video I said he was 1 7th. Uh, it was a mistake. I meant to say 1 8th. Um, but yeah, she's looking awesome. Out of all like the um, figures I was seeing of her coming out, I think this one has the best face for her. Like, you know when she is serious and she means business, like, love it. All right, let's break her free. Oh my God, there she is. She's looking great. So yeah, this is made by Kotobukiya at the Artifix J. Oh my god. She looks great. I really do like how they did her face. Like they captured her eyes, like pretty similar to what it looks like in the manga. I like how they did her hair, like the movement of it. I really do like it. And her hammer, of course, with the little heart detail on top. Uh, can you see it? Really? Oh, let I me. Mean, <laughs> we have an intruder. That's Freya, guys. She's very curious. She'll occasionally make appearances. Uh, but yeah. And she got her nails there. And the front hand there. Ready to use her attack there. It's great. I like the bases, similar to the Fujiguro's um, base. The purse is like a, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a pinky red color. I think it's very complimentary to probably all the other character stands. I think it's gonna look great um, next to Fujiguro. Again, I'm still torn of getting into Dory. Talk me into it. <laughs> I just need a little bit of a push. Um, but yeah, I think she looks great. Yeah. Oh yeah, and her little satchel in the back where she keeps all the nails. And yeah, she looks great. You know, I wish down the line they'll do like the, um, you know, in the ending credit scene about their streetwear. Like, I hope someone just does it and just makes figures of that because I love it. I love the idea of when um, they put, you know, the characters in like streetwear. But yeah. Do a little detail on the buttons too. Looks great. All right guys, let's move on. Well, I guess before we move on, I just want to show you how they look together. I love it. Oh, there's another kitty crying over here, waiting to get fed. It's too soon for dinner, Bubby. You see him? It's a little too soon. Too soon for you. But yeah, that's how they look together. I think they look great. Alright, let's get to the next one. Alright, doesn't she look glorious? Like, she just demands a presence right like I just love the aura coming from this figure love it all right so here she is DSR looking 
great. I love the artwork they put on the box. Got some, got some side boob action there. <laughs> love it. Love good side boob. All right. Again, I love when they give you the window so you can actually see the figure and see what you're getting. I, I love that. But yeah, the one seven scale made by Wonderful Works. She's looking good. Let's break her free. All right, here she is out of the box, looking glorious. Love the attitude, <laughs> love it. Um, so yeah, it was pretty easy to put together. The base is kind of boring, not gonna lie. Just a, a great disc. Um, I don't know, I think they could have like made it like a nice flooring, like a marble or something. Cause look how like formal she is. And like, I don't know. It's just missing something. They could have done something different. Um, but yeah, it was pretty easy to put together. Um, there's a couple pegs on the gun case to help you prop open, uh, prop up the, um, the gun here on the top there. As you can see, it's like a little peg there. And then there was a peg for the, um, the champagne glass up there. So let me just put that back on. I think I can do it with one hand. There we go. And then there she is. I think her face is great. The expression is great. And the hand, the detail of the way the hand holds the glass is just like elegance to me. And I like, you can see her fingernails are painted. And you can see like she has some jewelry on, some earrings, a nice necklace there. Her dress is just breathtaking to me. Like, I wish I had the confidence to wear a dress like this. It's just beautiful. Um, I think it was very well sculpted. And just how it flows. And you can see that like, there's some transparency to the dress. Like there's like some lace detail in the see-through parts. Um, it's really pretty. You know, I never played this game, but the character designs of these characters are always breathtaking. I'm sure I'll buy a few more just because I just love them. Um, I like to look at them, you know. Um, they're, they're great. And her hair is great too. I love how they did their, her hair too. I wish I can curl my hair like that. <laughs> but yeah, she's great. I can't wait to add her to, to the shelf, to the collection. Um, what do you guys think? Did you grab her? Did you get a different character? Um, do you play the games? Do you not play the games if you brought the figures? Um, let me know. Until the next unboxing, see ya.